the uh, GE new uh, hybrid CFL and halogen bulb. Um, this is bright from the start. Um, I kind of think it's dumb from the start, but you know, it's just my opinion. It's a good bulb. I can't say it's a bad bulb. I don't think it's a necessary thing what they did here. Uh, this is a, a res video response to a Vegematics uh, uh, where uh, he put this bulb on, and that's the first time I'd ever seen it. I had never even don't really knew they were on the market. But like with anything light up or or based on electronics or electricity, I kind of get interested and I have to take a look at it. So I bought one to take it apart and uh, kind of destructive testing. I at first thought the envelope was plastic. It's not. It's glass. And uh, I used my favorite uh, little uh, Dremel tool with a die grinder with a cutoff wheel. And uh, I started to cut into it thinking it was plastic. It was glass. And it made a pop. And that was it. It was apart. And then I peeled the bottom off like a ham can and uh, got it all apart here. Now what I did, what discovered on it, it has a 60 watt halogen capsule lamp inside here, right there. And what they do is, this is a strictly, completely separate circuit from the CFL circuit. There's no interaction between the two of them. The, the, uh, when you power up the halogen bulb, and this is probably going to fry my uh, camera lens. Oh. All right. Now, I don't want to wreck my camera, so I'm going to put it off to the side a little bit. When you uh, put this on here, in 30, approximately 30 seconds from the time that you plug it in, the, the uh, uh, halogen capsule goes off. And all the while, the, the coils of the uh, uh, CFL are warming up and coming up to the brightness, the proper brightness. Like I said, I've never had that be a problem with, uh, with a, a light bulb of any kind. Uh, with the CFLs. I use them all over the house. Uh, I use an incandescent when I'm doing AM radio work because of the noise factor. And they haven't made a quiet CFL yet that I know of. Now see, there we go. We're out now. And the thing throws some serious heat as a 60 watt bulb would, you would think. Now let me unplug it so I don't get nailed. Now, how this thing is working uh, is this little circuit board here. It's a, like a T-shaped circuit board. This circuit board solders to this circuit board on these little tabs here and uh, they even mark the halogen connections are H1 and H2 and the connection goes through this thermal cutout right here this is a safety device only this is if the internal temperature of the bulb gets to 150 degrees centigrade uh, it will cut out and render it useless and that's there as a safety uh, factor which I wondered about that in order to get it through UL they would have to have that on there but the rest of the power supply, it's a simple timer circuit. And what they do is they, uh, they I'm going to show you in a second as soon as I get this thing off here. And let's see, let's get it off, off here. There we go, there's that. There we go. And we'll take it off here too so it's easier to maneuver it. There with the camera motion, kind of hard to work one-handed here. Oh, come on. There we go. Now. <clears throat> what it does, when you first power the bulb up, <clears throat> the, there's a small uh, little diode right off the power supply down in here, a little barrel diode. I don't know if we can see this better. Uh, let's keep it steady here so it'll focus. Oh, come on. It's so tiny. These surface mount parts are so tiny and difficult to see. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. This little diode here goes to a simple timer circuit that is, uh, it is comprised of these little surface mount resistors, this transistor right here, <clears throat> and then it goes into this right here, this little thing that looks like a transistor, but it's not. It's a, uh, an SCR that's especially designed for switching uh, high current loads. And in this case, you have uh, 0.6 amps for the halogen capsule. This is rated at 0.8 amps, so they get a little, little bit of wiggle room there. And anyway, the, uh, as this capacitor is charged through the slow timing of the, that resistor network, once it gets to a, the, the it, once it fully charges this 100 microfarad capacitor here, it switches off the SCR and it turns off the halogen capsule. Now, this capacitor, because of its nature, will stay charged as long as there's power on there, and it'll stay charged even if you turn the power off for, oh, uh, however long the, uh, the, the thing will, the thing will just keep a charge, maybe, 
I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever, as long as you, you know, don't repower it. That way it doesn't refire the halogen at any time. It keeps the CFL going and it doesn't refire the halogen bulb. This part of the power supply, of course, is just the power supply for the high voltage oscillator power supply for the uh, CFL part of it. But anyway, that's a look at the inside of the Energy Smart GE hybrid technology bright from the start light bulb. <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows that when I get something like this, I have to take it apart. Even though it means destroying it, I have to take it apart. i got to see how it works. I also have a use for this circuit, this timer circuit, in another project I'm working on. So anyway, that's it. Hope you're, in, uh, hope you're in, enjoying these. <laughs>